Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video here on my channel and welcome back to another review. And today we're going to review one of the heaviest and biggest books that I have in my collection. A book that I've had for quite a number of years and it's Wolverine the Adamantium Collection. So, I guess we should get into it. First of all, the book came in this, this, this box here. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, as you can see, you can see the damage here. I got when I got this. I got this. I can't remember if I got this like seven, seven, eight years ago. But it was that shipping. They put a shipping poster on it. So I, but I got money back for that because it, I had to take a knife and take take that off, which that was really annoying. So anyway, here's the spine on that. The back is strictly nothing. It's supposed to look like this. The little nits and nags. The price is two was two hundred dollars, and you can actually see here what the book contains. We're gonna get into that. So that's just the box. So here we have the actual book in the slipcase. Slipcase. It's the same as. That here's the back, the spine on that. Here's the cover, which has that Frank Miller uh, stuff to it. A really cool cl classic. So this is the slipcase. Take that away. And this is a sturdy slipcase. It's very stable. Well, it has to be. And we get to the actual book. So it's the front image. A lot of uh, his most famous characters like Lady Deathstroke, Magneto, Sabretooth, Solar Samurai, of course Hulk, uh, Dakin, Dakin, Mystique, Deadpool. Don't know who this guy is, actually. Spine. Don't know who this guy is. Tell me in the comments if you know. And here's the back. This book weighs about eight pounds. It's a very damn heavy book. It's huge comparing to a regular trade. And you see how gigantic this book is. So. Let's get more into this book. Obviously very, very sturdy, which is very nice. So we'll put it up here. Nice classic picture right there. And we get the table of content. So this book has Wolverine Origin, one through six. It has Wolverine Weapon X, Marvel Comics 72 through 84. It has Beyond the Farthest Star, which is Uncanny X Men 162. It has Wolverine by Claremont and Miller, issues 1 through 4, that classic miniseries that introduced Wolverine basically. Wounded Wolf has Uncanny X Men 205. Red Report Knights, Uncanny X Men 268. Wolverine 75, Failed Attractions, Nightmares Persist, Wolverine Not Dead Yet, that's 119 through 122 from 1998, and we got Prisoner Number Zero, that's Wolverine 32 from 2005, and it finishes off with Wolverine the X-Men 1 through 3 from 2012. One thing though that is surprising with this, it doesn't have Hulk 180, 181, which is the first appearance of Wolverine. You'd actually think that it would contain that, but well, it doesn't, which is a bit sad. So anyway, it starts with an introduction by Chris Claremont. And then it also has an introduction by Tom DeSanto. And then we get into it. Oh, great oversized artwork. So, Origin. They obviously released Origin 2. 
uh, a few years ago. But I mean, sorry for the glare as usual. You get this gigantically beautiful oversized sort of work. The pages are a bit, bit glossy, but they're thick and I love it. I love thick pages. You get title and you get the issue, the page number, I should say. There we got. This is a beautiful page. Great artwork. So let's get past this. Get some nice artwork here. More from Origin. Obviously, has the first six issues of this. It's a great story. And we got just like words from the creators and other people, which is really cool. More stuff about Origin itself. Cool sketches about the characters in origin. Some really cool artwork. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to turn down the audio in the back here. There we go. Some really nice stuff. And then we get into what the next by Barry Windsor Smith. It also has an introduction by Larry Hammer. Really nice artwork there. This is really nice stuff. Okay, I, re I really, really like this. Man, the detail in the artwork and the, just the coloring alone. Just look at this, this is pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool pages here. Man, look at all the colors. It just bursts out, doesn't it? And especially with this type of oversized start work, it bursts out, bursts out even more. Look at that. That is just so damn cool. Kind of graphic, but damn, it's cool. Really cool artwork. Some really cool action pages. So this is all very, very cool stuff. Uh, look at this. Look at this page. Jesus. So look at this. It's pretty damn great. Okay, moving on a bit here. We're gonna try to move on at least. We get to get to this. This pretty damn amazing, right? Just look at this. Look at these pages here. Yeah, really gets accentuated with these with these oversized with with this oversized artwork. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So we get to the extras, Weapon X, get the covers. All very cool covers. This is a very iconic cover, obviously. Damn, this is cool stuff. Now, this book has been out of print for a long time, and when the book, it's obviously not a book, it will not be back in print. Uh, I see it on like Amazon and on eBay and they sell it. They're selling it for crazy prices. They're selling it for like a thousand bucks. So probably could make some money out of this. So here we go, Uncanny X-Men 162, which has Chris Claremont, Dave Cockrum on it, of course. Uh, 
It's nice artwork. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. It's Here we go. Here's the fight stuff. This is the Claremont Wolverine issue one through four of the first Wolverine miniseries. And that classic cover alone is, it's just that, it's classic. It's iconic, it's been homaged so many times. It's, uh, it's Frank Miller. Artwork in it's Frank Miller artwork at its best. You know this and Daredevil. But, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people like this. It's, uh, Dark Knight Returns as well, but to me Daredevil and, and this is the best stuff he ever did. But that's another video about Frank Miller. I'm not doing a Frank Miller video. Oh, look at this splash page. Pretty damn awesome. And once again, when you get your work this oversized, how can you, how can you complain? This is, this is, they've done a couple of other adamantium editions, vol volumes. I think they did the X-Men, they did uh, Captain America, did they? Didn't they? And they also did in Marvels. A single or something. And obviously, this fits Frank Miller great the ninjas and stuff because obviously, in Daredevil, you have the hand. So that is perfect. Mr. Miller. I'm hoping everybody's doing okay um, in this pandemic, keeping safe, keeping healthy when I recover. And it's incredibly warm. Here where I live, it's about 30 degrees Celsius. That's about um, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's incredibly warm. I'm on my vacation at the moment, so I'm doing not. I'm literally doing nothing. Uh, look at this. To get back to this book, this is the type of artwork where you don't need to have a lot of words, just because the artwork, the panels itself, says a lot. Just, uh, I really like that kind of sequential art stuff that you. Yeah, because you know, look at how he look how he structures the panels here. Look how different this is compared to your regular book. It's so innovative, so different. And once again, there's like not a lot of words in this. Just amazing stuff. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so we won't all look at that. Look, look at this. This is pretty damn cool. Okay. This was, let's see, what's this? Uh, oh, here we go. This was X Men 205. There's a lot of things happening on these pages. You can't almost can't follow it. Snowstorm, obviously. God damn. This is some fantastic. Yeah, anyway, I was talking about these Adam Hatchim collections. There were like four or five of them made. You would have thought there would be more, but obviously these are very special books. They're expensive as well obviously they're not 200 bucks that was retail price when they came out now these books go for three four five 
up to thousand dollars. That's a lot. So I probably could get a good penny for this if I wanted to sell it. And I'm not interested in selling it though. I was happy when I got it. Got it for under under a hundred bucks. So it's very nice. I mean retail prices. Retail price is 200 I got it for under 100 So, I can't do that. There. That was a lot of years ago. Okay, we're moving on here. And now we're on to the Wolverine series himself. Not dead yet. Let's see if we can see the issue number. No, I couldn't. 119, sorry. 119. Not my. Not the type of work that I really like, but. It's a big book. I'm gonna move forward here. Good stuff here. You obviously know the Wolverine is one of the most popular characters in the Marvel. The universe and overall in Marvel history, I would say you know Wolverine along with uh, uh, Spider-Man. This is this is nice stuff. This is uh, Mark Miller, Care Andrews, and Jose Villarubia. Some nice artwork. He's always been one of the most popular characters and. At a the point there, especially in the 90s, it was a lot of Wolverine and a lot of different titles. You know, you oversaturated with Wolverine. It was Wolverine, it was Punisher, it was Ghost Rider, uh, and it was Spider-Man, because you saw those characters in pretty much every goddamn title. And the artwork here is really, really nice, okay? Series by Jason Aaron. I never read that. Instead, it was really good. Moving on. Let's go to the nice splash page here. I understand it was a really good series. Now that I never read it, here we finally get to the back of the book. Characters. Nice. Evolution of Wolverine, different Wolverines through the years. As you take a look at these different pictures, I want to remind you to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe buttons, you get notification, get notifications, and uh, please, please leave a comment. And uh, that I'm, that's the reason why I make the, continue to make these videos, and will will continue to make these videos. So hit that like button, please. It's like the James Bond Wolverine, <laughs> Blade, Blade Wolverine, Bond Wolverine. Yeah, it's pretty funny, right? A lot of the different iterations, versions. Wolverine. Then we get into the art, popular culture Wolverine, I guess you could say, in a way. Art appreciation for Wolverine. He's a popular figure. I mean, he got three freaking movies. I liked all three of them. I know every, a lot of people didn't like Wolverine or X-Men Origins Wolverine, that movie, but I picked I, I liked it. It's a good action movie. Then the second one, The Wolverine, when he was in Japan, that was a good movie. And the third one, Logan, obviously, was a very, very different movie, but it was a really great movie. So, I mean, Wolverine is an adoring character. 
great mythos, mythology to him. Great legend. There we go, there's a nice one. And there we go. That was Wolverine the Adamantium. Oh. Wolverine, the Adamantium collection. Bad, big, bad, big, bad boy, this book. So, hopefully you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment and give a thumb up. And uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, bye.